2020, the year of toilet paper, banana bread, and of course, at-home workouts. Back in March, I did a 30-day challenge of comparing each influencer's at-home workout programs, which at the time, that would be the end of that series. Fast forward, at-home workouts ended up lasting eight more months. Remember when we all thought quarantine was gonna be this like two-week thing? <laughs> and then we'd be back to regular workouts, back to the gym. Wasn't that cute? Oh, March 2020, Kelty, you were so cute and you thought I was gonna be done next week and here we are! Over the last eight months, to keep me from punching a hole through my wall, I turned to popular fitness influencers at home workout programs from Chloe Ting, Lily Sabri, and much, much more. So here is my complete guide, the good, the bad, and the only ugly thing you're really gonna see is my dancing form when attempting to do a Mad Fit dance video. So this is gonna be a wrap up over the last eight months of doing almost pretty much every at home workout program there is on the internet. So when you go into 2021 and you still have to work out at home, you're gonna know which workout to do for you, the good, the bad, everything I loved, hated, yada yada, let's jump to it. April 2020, what started it all? The queen of 2020 fitness. We are going to tell our children about this. Some people baked banana bread, some baked bread, some stole toilet paper, some went down conspiracy rabbit holes, but most of us did a Chloe Jane two week abs trend. <laughs> And so did I. Chloe Tang is an Australian YouTuber with now 16 million subscribers. Her one most popular video has 270 million views. What the f She won 2020. Now I will say, when I did her video, the trolls came for me hard. Hard. I'm gonna address that after we just talk more about what you can expect if you wanna do a Chloe Ting workout. She has a variety of challenges, two weeks, 24 days, four weeks, etc. and they usually revolve around 10 to 15 minutes a day. You pick the body part you wanna focus on. Price, three. Category three, the sense of community. She is the queen of this. She has the stand loyal army will cut you deep. I experience them. There's no community like the Chloe Ting army. You gotta respect it. Community is important in fitness and she might have the best community online right now. Personally, I found a Chloe Ting workout video to be more between beginner to intermediate. Now, you can still be an expert and get a decent workout, but yes, if you're an athlete, you shouldn't be going to Chloe Ting to prove your athletic performance, but it might be a good way to add some mobility exercise movement into your day. Who I'd recommend a Chloe Ting workout for? Someone who wants accountability. The nice thing about having communities, there are other people doing it. You can comment in threads. You can make your own Instagram account. There's a sense of community and accountability, and there's constantly new videos, and you just kind of get to be a part of it. The main form of workout she's gonna have is body weights. There typically is a main focus on abs, booty, legs, and arms. She has others, but those are the main. So let's talk pros and cons. First, the pro. She is really friendly and inviting. Like Chloe Ting, I just feel, I'm like, oh, I can do this. Yeah, let's do it together. And I feel a non-intimidating environment. She also has this nice contrast of having music, but still encouraging words. Typically, it's one or the other. It's either music completely over it, or just kind of music in the background, they're talking. She has a good kind of hybrid of like, yeah, you got this, keep going, push yourself, which is a nice little reminder. And another pro that Chloe Ting has that a couple of other people have, but she's really good at, is putting modifications. Now she only has like a beginner to intermediate, like she wouldn't have like an expert, like a three tier, but I like never see that. But she always does have that modification, which is very appreciated. Now for the cons. He's pretty toxic on the internet sometimes. <laughs> it has created this kind of like toxic clickbait culture. Like there's a lot of girls who make videos, a lot of influencers, anyone can fake a before and after. And there's just like a lot of those videos because if you do them, they'll blow up. And it's a great thing because it's part of the community. I just mean like, I think she's gotten so big that she's gotten to like that part of the internet. As soon as you get big, there's gonna be toxic. No matter how positive your message is, if you're big enough, there's gonna be people who don't agree with you. Also another thing, I found it confusing how to follow. I found it kind of confusing at first. I was like, when do I do this? Is that what day? But once you get the groove of it, it's okay. But at first it was a little confusing. Uh, so my before and after, I can't wait. I think I'll do a full breakdown video on this, responding to the comments, because it'd be absolutely hilarious. Yes, the reason I gained weight is because it was the first week of quarantine. I decided to do it, everyone else was doing it. I thought it'd be fun, fun for you guys. And unfortunately, my energy expenditure went way down, and I just decided to bake a lot and eat, so my weight went up a little bit. So that was my experience. It wasn't Chloe's fault, it was just the reality of the situation, and the internet attacked me. <laughs> and I've never felt bullied on the internet until that moment, and one day I was up, Till like three in the morning, just like, oh my God, everyone hates me. <laughs> yeah, so a uh, Chloe Ting army, I'm sorry, maybe I'll make a whole video about that. It wasn't at my usual energy expenditure, but that was just kind of the beginning of that home. She literally is the reason hundreds of millions of people moved during quarantine. So, like I said, she won 2020. 
And you know who might be the biggest fitness influencer of 2020 that I know we've all seen? If you watch YouTube, you've stumbled across this one for sure. I get constant ads for it because I've purchased and I enjoy it. And I thought, you know what else I could test out for you guys? HelloFresh. And you know why I get ads for HelloFresh? Because I'm obsessed with it. It is something I would want. It is something I want. It is something I purchased because Instagram now knows us better than we know ourselves. Cute social dilemma. We are going to make Mediterranean Falfalfa. Mediterranean Falfalfa. 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 Falafel. Okay, there are so many reasons I'm genuinely obsessed with HelloFresh. First of all, everything is delicious. When it's delivered to you, it gets to you faster than a grocery store, so everything arrives at peak freshness and flavor. It saves you time and money, which we all wanna do. The average trip to the grocery store takes about 41 minutes. This arrives right to your door. Also, you end up saving about 28% using HelloFresh versus just your general grocery store shopping. Now my favorite, favorite part and why I'm so obsessed with it is its sustainability. HelloFresh's carbon footprint is 25% lower than meals from store-bought grocery stores. Quick story time, back at the beginning of lockdown, I started cooking a lot more from home. I had date nights with my boyfriend over Zoom. We would cook meals. Now what I always hated is cooking alone. There was always wasted things. It was really hard to get the perfectly proportioned amount versus HelloFresh, it's all perfectly portioned, so there is no waste and I love that so much. It's flexible, it easily change your delivery date or food preferences example this week I decided to go vegetarian and also just to warm our hearts HelloFresh is committed to giving back and donating over 2.5 million meals to charities in 2019 and this year is stepping up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis my heart so go to hellofresh.com and use my code 80 Kelty to get $80 off across five boxes including free shipping on your first box enjoy I cooked that so let's try this this is the moment of truth so we need a bite with some kale a tomato carrot a little bit of falafel that, my friends. It's vegetarian. It's got nutrients. It, oh, this is so good. For, it's good for the environment. Like, what? This isn't everything I want, but I made it myself. Mm. This is love. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> Who's mad fit? A Toronto Canadian YouTuber. What to represent, what to represent. Who does typically dance videos. She does a lot of other ones, mobility, specific arm movements, but she is usually choreographed type style. She is a dancer. What to expect? There's three five minute dance long choreographed style workouts you can do to music, or you can do more 10 to 20 minute. She has a dancer side to her, so I'll always cater towards that, but she does have a more mobility, body weight exercise component as well. Price? Free. Sense community, actually in her comments and all that, I found it really supportive and it just seems to be like a lot of people doing it. She doesn't have a set community anywhere you guys can go, but I just felt even I see comments on my videos about people doing that fit a lot. So I think just a lot of us are doing it. Obviously she blew up. Beginner or expert, uh, she is clearly an expert dancer and it's a lot at the beginning, but I think it's that's part of the funness of her channel. She can get anyone dancing and she teaches it in a really friendly way. So beginners can do it, but there's a lot of room for improvement. It. Me and her could both do it and it would look vastly different. The main form of exercise is like cardio dance. My main pros, this is like so much fun. This is my go-to. I want to get moving. I want to have fun. I've never been a dancer and I felt like it was a really easy point to entry and just as a fun way to move my body. And that was my absolute favorite thing. And she does have such a good understanding of mobility and movement in the human body, which is really reflected in her videos. My main con, there isn't any except like I felt like a real idiot at the start, but that's sometimes just fitness. You just got to take it with a great assault. She doesn't really have programs or anything like that, but that's kind of not where you go to a mad fit program. That's not her specialty. You go there to get some dance workouts. So it's just a fun way to move, and that is what I did in May. <laughs> Pamela Reif. <laughs> Bonus for living in 2020. So who is she? She's a German-based Instagrammer, fitness extraordinaire, Puma athlete, and much, much more. She's gone past influencer to pure celebrity. She has done videos with Jason Derulo. Oh my God, I tried to do that and feel so bad. But anyways, what you can expect is a Pamela Rave video. Usually 10 to 20 minute different types of specific body type workouts. She kind of is your bread and butter. She's got the wide variety of any 10 to 20 minute body weight workout you want. If you want mobility, flexibility, if you want to dance, if you want to work on your abs, arms, specific body weights. She's very flexible and has really gotten the whole at-home workout 10 to 20 minute thing down pat. Sense of community, 
very much so in a very very positive one even in that comment section in that video i did is just so positive maybe it's just how i came across it i don't know i just felt online she has created it because she more than anyone else really communicates with her audience she will change things in the next day's program video depending what they want and she's just super hands-on beginner to intermediate like i said i want to recommend this for a high level expert athlete trying to improve athletic performance but anyone beginner to intermediate at home workout style is going to get a good 10 to 30 minute workout just to put it as an example my little brother y'all think i'm into fitness my little brother just was like oh yeah i'm going to the mountains to go hiking and you know bike for 40 kilometers and then climb a mountain what the hell <laughs> yeah that's what he does and him and his girlfriend enjoy doing these videos together uh, and they find a good workout and they're both like the fittest humans so there's an example out of all that home workouts that i'm going to review it was actually the only one i heard about guys actually doing just a little fun fact who i'd recommend it for honestly anyone who just needs a 10 to 20 minute workout you just want to put on some good music blast get moving <laughs> She is great for that. Main form of exercise, literally, it's gonna all be body weight type exercises, you know, 10 to 20 reps, 30 seconds for 10 to 20 minutes, that kind of typical movement. Okay, my main pros for Pamela is she just kind of has any kind of workout you want. She's really motivational to watch, like you can tell she's just in such good shape, just with how she moves her body, with not just like how she looks. She is really engaging with her community. You just feel like she's a friend. I love that. She takes into account what people are wanting at that very moment. And also, you know what, she has the best music. Her, a mad fit too, but in terms of just like a 10 to 20 minute workout, like she has my favorite music. Cons, uh, she doesn't really do like challenges. She does always have like a weekly calendar, stuff like that, which is really nice. Free resource, which you can follow yourself. But she doesn't do like the two week shred of that, which I like. I'm, I'm not really a fan of like two week abs. But then I am a fan of the challenge, so it's kind of weird. They gotta clickbait it like that to get people involved. So it's a weird. Online fitness is weird at times, the clickbait culture. <laughs> I say as I also clickbait everything because toxic clickbait culture in 2020 to get views. <laughs> I'm guilty too. <laughs> now July was kind of hybrid. I actually did Stephanie Buttermore's stomach vacuum. She doesn't really have a challenge. She had a video of it and I tried it myself. So you can go watch that and I actually worked on my flexibility journey so i'm not gonna call myself an influencer or anything i worked on creating kind of my own program just for me uh, personally and you guys saw it in my olympic stretching and my split stretching videos and something is coming i want to do something more for you guys because i have so many questions hey next friday something's coming Ooh. But that was kind of just my main focus was stomach vacuums and my own flexibility. And I kind of just churned on whatever during that time. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! August, not a uh, Instagram model. The Instagram model, Alexis Ren. If you've been on Instagram since at least the last eight years, you've stumbled upon one of her videos. She has waist goals, she has body goals, she has Instagram goals, and she is just... A you can't imagine something like that is real. <laughs> anyway, she had a summer workout program, which I did. What to expect? It was very Pilates dance feel. It was very low impact, very kind of like elongate muscles type idea. The price was about $50. I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen. I says community at the time. There was no community, but I realized because what I purchased is still for sale and I didn't realize I wouldn't get the community unless I did it right when it was live. There's that. I felt a little bamboozled, but also I just did not read the fine prints. <laughs> Beginner. Definitely beginner, not for intermediate or experts. Who I recommend it for? Someone who really likes just like calm Pilates, like not intense bar, very like we're coming together, and we're just enjoying life, and we're from LA, and we do some pulses, and it's nice and peaceful. And there's nothing wrong with that. I respect it. I'm quite jealous because that's just like complete opposite of who I am as a human being. The main pros: it, it was nice to just kind of slow down, not just too high intensity. She was very bubbly on screen, but the con: it felt kind of very just thrown together like she just kind of sat there filmed a bunch of videos it was a lot of the same exercises over and over again same workouts i definitely thought i was going to do the same workout for 30 days she she changed it up every week but you're kind of going to do the same 10 to 20 minute thing every day add a little bit the next week but the pro on that is it was really great i think fitness is wrong because you have too much off the bat and you get overwhelmed i think the best thing even for myself is start really small almost so small that it's hard not to do and then you build on that so that's why i was like if you just kind of get any one low impact you know what I'm saying? Quiet, peaceful, just like pulses, Pilates style. Very beginner friendly. It, it's going to be that, but once again, it's not free. I have a lot of free things on the internet. So here's my before and after. 
September! Lily Sabri and I failed miserably when we're gonna get into that. Anyway, she's this beautiful Australian fitness model influencer. She's got a ton of at-home workout programs, videos on the internet, and she's just a bubbly, friendly human, and you wanna watch it? She has a dog, guys. I'm sorry. She could, she, she has a dog. She won. <laughs> I'm gonna be so biased regardless. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is why her videos are superior. What to expect? She has different kind of four to eight week programs you can do. They tend to be like tone, ab, shred, beginner guides. And then she has every few days, she releases 10 to 30 minute fat burning, building muscle, that kind of workout. You're gonna just typically need very little, either just yourself or resistance bands. Price, it's a ton of free resources on there, but her at-home programs are like 24 to $35 Canadian. Level, honestly, beginner, intermediate, either one she has, modifications. Expert, like when I say expert, I always say like high level performing athlete. It's a good way to just add some extra core engagement, body weight exercises, but I'm not gonna recommend it to anyone in beginner to intermediate. It's gonna be great. Whenever I did it, I had a great ab burn workout. Who I'd recommend it for? People who want a good 10 to 30 minute bubbly personality, good music, and she uses a lot more talks and walks you guys through it and music in the background kind of style. A main form of exercise, body weight type movements on a mat, little dumbbells. My main pros and cons, uh, I can't comment because I failed this challenge. <laughs> yep, confession time. I did the first three days of her two week shred in the summer and I moved cross country and forgot this challenge existed. So I failed and there's reality. Don't beat yourselves up. Sometimes life gets in the way and you know what, I was going on a lot of walks, I was doing my yoga, I was doing some things like that. I was very overwhelmed. You guys have seen my breakdown videos the last few weeks and that and this was kind of in that sphere of I was doing that by trying to move and doing this challenge and the jump rope and that and so it just just to add, I was like, yeah, let's also throw it on Lily Sabri challenge. <laughs> that failed so bad. October, October, Sydney Cummings, you helped me get my groove back on in 2020 after I had a mental breakdown. So who's she? She's a former college athlete now. I, she actually blew up in my mind because she got featured a ton on the Poosh Courtney quote. Courtney Kardashian's website. Now she's all over Instagram. She's a ghost athlete. She works with multiple different clothing companies and she has her own program, her own community. And obviously you guys can tell I'm just a big fan of hers. So what to expect? Hers is gonna be a lot more like weights, resistance training, athletic performance, and a lot more of like that building. Using the word tone, but in the essence of build a bit more muscle, strong female empowerment. Price ton of free resources. Then she has a lot of different price points, which I'm all for purchasing, sometimes help get things, but she has anything for 10 to $50, depending on what kind of eBooks resources you do once. Sense of community, very loyal followers. I got recommended her so much. I think you can even just see how much I recommend her online. It's kind of like people are like, Sydney Cummings is my personal trainer. That's how she comes across is it's like, you're very one-on-one -on -one with her. Now you can purchase and be a part of her online community. I never dabbled into that, but be aware she does have one of those that you can like have a direct little bubble of you guys. Level, beginning to expert, this would be actually the one I would cater the most on expert, but beginner as well. She's It's very easy introduction into weightlifting, very basic. You can just do a five minute workout, a 10, you can do a full 50 minute hit. But just keep in mind, like she also has the ability of like, she's just really smart and understands like complex movement patterns. And you see that with some of her exercises. Uh, who I'd recommend this for? Someone who wants to get back into resistance training, someone who likes a bit more resistance training, like the less 10 to 20 minute body weight exercise and wants a bit more of like, I don't know, like 20, 30 resistance training. And we're in the gym, like a bit more of that feeling. I think you'd lean a bit more towards the Sydney. Main form of exercises, actually weights are her main form, but she has a lot of body weight exercises. It's gonna be a lot of like, sets rest couple sets rest but she does have hits as well and a bit more cardio based but she's definitely like if you want to build a booty you're gonna find it with sydney stuff main pros she's like really encouraging but like a coach she might be like my favorite personally voice to hear while working out. I guess the only con is like, she doesn't have like the dancing style videos, but like, you don't have to be able to do everything. Like I'm okay with doing one of her workouts there and then going doing a mad fit workout after. November-ish blog lattes, blog lattes, blog lattes, blog, I just, I don't know how to say. This one was also kind of a fail, but this is also kind of, I'm gonna take responsibility. She has so many different challenges. She's the GOAT. She is who created kind of the at-home fitness challenge for many years. So we always have to applaud her. And like she walks so we could run even though she's bigger than pretty much anyone on the fitness community. Like she's gone mainstream ABC News kind of level where we're all still here like, you too, you too. I did it because back in the day she had this split 
challenge and I'm trying to work on my flexibility like I talked and back in the day I did one of her videos and I found out I did it completely wrong so I tried to do it this time and I quit after a couple days I don't it just wasn't for me at this time I want to do like a full video of hers and someone just explained it to me that's why I'm like even in this video so you're supposed to do like this stretch day one and this stretch day two and three and then you're allowed to do one you know day two you do one and two and you build your way for an inflexible person this is not enough like I, I was doing it and I was like, I'm just gonna, this is just confusing me and I'm just gonna do my own routine. Like, uh, but she does have like beautiful calendars. She has so many challenges. She has the hundred rep, all that kind of mentality. So like she is a great resource. If you haven't heard of her, I say go and look at her stuff as well. I'm gonna do a full video. I just thought I'd mention, I'd like kind of try to do this challenge, but uh, you know, October, November, September has been just, uh, oh, this is gonna feel satisfying. Just not cause it's her, but just like 2020. <laughs> Now in December, I've actually done two days of the challenge. By the time this released, I'll have, I think, believe the one of the final days of this challenge, Lily Sabri times Linda Sun. So two YouTubers who I'm absolutely obsessed with, they have a challenge going on right now and I'm doing it. It's kind of like a cliche <laughs> Lily Sabri video, but it also has Linda Sun's community. I'm not gonna explain about that's Linda's thing and Lily's, so that's their cream. I just thought I'd let you guys know I'm doing that right now and I think I wanna do like a full Lily challenge. So let me know down in the comments, but this has been really fun, what to expect. So Far, kind of like a typical you're gonna do about two workouts a day that really complement each other they have some food resources they're being really interactive on their Instagram which I'm following right now reposting there's a ton of people sense of community there's obviously a lot of people doing it beginner to intermediate so kind of anyone that's been in the beginner to intermediate at home workouts if you're someone who's like an expert in at home workouts like you've kind of been doing those for forever you'll really like this challenge as well I think it's very nice to see like Linda who's someone who just kind of started at, at home workouts and they built her way to now she has her own so it's like very relatable I think that's really cool to see but like it, no it's not expert for a professional athlete I, I I will always say that I'm sorry if it's annoying but we're just being full transparency on the level of fitness main form of exercises it's it's I think this one's really focused on like abs and cores but they got some like 500 rep booty workouts it's gonna be like a full body by the end of the challenge it's looking like and so far it's been really fun and I, I'm just enjoying watching the girls I'm not really like participating because we're talking about it here but I'm participating like in the comments and that I'm just kind of watching and be like yeah I love it girls and then I'm not gonna like really say my pros and cons because like I haven't finished it right now so just being transparent it's more just like oh yeah guys I'm doing it there's an idea for you <laughs> So my final wrap up thoughts, who are my favorites, my go-tos for 2020. My main go-to, I gotta be honest, is Pamela Rife. I don't anywhere, just throw on, I don't wanna think, 10 to 20 minutes, I'm throwing on one of hers because the music, I find her encouraging, I like how she moves. Now when I wanna work out, when I'm like, Kelty, you need to get a good workout in, let's go. I need a personal trainer. I got no one to call out. I'm calling up Sydney Cummings. My go-to, my roots are like an athlete. Like that is what I grew up. That is my safe place sometimes. I just want to feel like a badass. They don't get a lot in 2020 because the gyms are obviously limited. It's not quite the same. There's no sports we can do. Uh, so Sydney is like my go-to. Now I want to give two of the big recommendations is Chloe and Lily because the thing we're lacking the most right now in 2020 is this sense of community. And I did find theirs have like the biggest sense of community versus like Pamela and Sydney, I felt like closer to them as individuals. Lily and Chloe, I don't feel necessarily as close to them, but I feel more of a community of girls online. It, I think I've mentioned it briefly and you guys probably understood the last video. Gymshark 66 is coming up. It is a great opportunity. If you want a sense of community, but you're just like, oh, I just kind of like doing all these. Gymshark 66, I really highly recommend. I'm gonna put some resources down below but it's a way you can commit to doing the same for 66 days there's prizes there's awards so it's kind of a nice way to be on a journey with a lot of other people when you have different goals so you can maybe do a hybrid of all these workouts like that's what i'm kind of doing but then also have my weight training series which if you guys saw in last week's video so there's another option as well is joining gymshark 66 i have my weight training every day for 66 days and another thing that will also come up but you'll have to hit subscribe to see that i just want to thank you guys i want to thank these girls for providing us resources and keeping our sanity in 2020 as much as fitness was so important to all of us in 2020 for feeling physically healthy and if there's ever a time to feel physically healthy it is when we're in a pandemic <laughs> but also mentally I think fitness was a big outlet for us it was something we needed it was 10 to 30 minutes a day of just movement sometimes and so really do the one that gets you moving that's all that matters goals are subjective right now it's just getting up and moving releasing endorphins feeling good about yourself that is what fitness needs to be in the next little bit and that's what these girls have created beautiful communities mad fit helped me when I just wanted to get moving you know Chloe Tang has helped 
helped millions and millions of people. Like you can't deny she is a lifesaver to so many people in 2020. You know, Pamela Reif is someone who I turned to so many times when I was alone in Toronto and just needed to move my body. Uh, she actually reached out to me, which is amazing. Lily Sabri and you know, Alinda Sun, you've seen that community blow up. Sydney Cummings really taught me strength when I needed it the most. And so I just want to thank these girls. I hope you guys find people that resonate with you online and be good to yourself. Let's all move and let's make 2021 the best year ever, whatever that looks like to you. And the best way to have the best year ever is have a great day. Go pet a dog. Love you guys. Bye.